Hello, in this PowerPoint, we'll be discussing virtue ethics. Um, this is the, the classic approach of Socrates, Aristotle, lots of other early Greek philosophers. Um, I consider it probably one of our more uh, light and fluffy and uh, aspirational uh, approaches to ethics. Um, it, uh, according to Socrates, people will naturally know what is good, um, which is something that every human um, is intuitive, intuitively knows um, that uh, any evil or bad action is simply a matter of ignorance. Um, that uh, um, they know um, what is bad when they do it um, and that it has to be more or less a conscious decision. Um, wisdom equates to um, ethics um, and that if you are wise and ethical, you will be happy. Um, certainly not the current uh, American mindset, but uh, you know, that's what Socrates would have us uh, conclude. In looking at the, the virtue approach, um, we look at um, really aspirational things. Uh, when, when one looks at what is the right course of action, one would think about you know, what kind of person should I be? Um, you know, what is it that would develop more character in me uh, within my community? Um, what is the ideal state? As you can imagine very much the classic Greek approach. This is a, a, an emphasis on individual character. Um, it is, uh, uh, one might think of the phraseology of you know, this is an ethics of being rather than an ethics of doing. This is another way of looking at uh, virtue ethics um, that, uh, um, you know, is, it's very aspirational, um, looking to the highest um, moral character that we all innately should have. Uh, that we should be pursuing the ideal uh, in our community, in our decisions, in our relationships. Uh, here's uh, some examples of what we should be aspiring to, which is honesty, courage, compassion, generosity, um, and so on. Um, taking this a step further is that one's, um, how one determines what an ethical action is, is that is it consistent with the ideal virtues of, of our uh, humanity? That is, are we in doing an action, are we doing it because it is the, the right thing to do, the most the highest uh, aspiration that we should have? Here's the questions that a, uh, a virtue ethicist would ask themselves as they are determining whether or not to buy that or done it. Um, you know, what kind of person would, will I become if I do this? Um, is it consistent with me acting at my best? And this is another approach of trying to determine what is the uh, correct answer under virtue ethics. Very much looking to what is the um, you know, what would the best person do here? Um, you might remember there were bracelets of, uh, had an abbreviation on it that uh, referred to what would Jesus do? This is, um, this is what you might be contemplating under virtue ethics. Um, it re very much rejects um, what a physician uh, would do under the autonomy model in that the physician should be thinking about what is um, the ideal physician, what would the ideal physician do in this moment with a patient, as opposed to what is my duty to the patient or what is what does the patient want to do? Um, very different sort of analysis. Again, who should be a role model to all of those around us? Criticism, of course, is um, it very much judge, judges a person on their character rather than on their action. Um, which is uh, somewhat hard to do in this modern era. Um, you know, just because one, one espouses um, one thing and does something that doesn't appear to be consistent with that, um, we don't have much patience for. 
apparently they had much more patience for it back in Greece. Um, but anyway, um, the other uh, criticism of this is that, um, first of all, it doesn't uh, take into consideration that one may just be doing something bad, uh, even though they previously had been quite the ideal role model. Uh, from a healthcare perspective, it also uh, puts the physician in a dominant position um, in that it is the physician's right to participate or refuse to participate in healthcare based upon what he believes or she believes the ideal is, um, not what the patient wants, not what, the, not a duty to the patient. Um, it is simply what is the ideal for the profession. Uh, what would the ideal physician do in this situation? As in many of the schools of ethics, um, you know, they, um, what is virtuous in one society may not be as virtuous in another society. Um, monogaming may be an example of that. Um, helping others may be um, differ from society to society. Here are two of the serious problems. Um, one is, is the, the problem of content. Um, hard to tell um, when one looks at actions um, whether um, this, you know, how, how you apply it, uh, a virtue in, in real life. The problem of pluralism is that you may have competing concepts of what the good life is. Um, in other words, um, you know, is it good to, to live um, or is it good to uh, have a quality of life? Um, and how do you reconcile those? Uh, virtue ethics may not provide you with any answer on how to do that. This is our friend Socrates, um, and this gratefully brings us to the end of our discussion about virtue ethics. Uh, we'll be talking about it more um, during the course of our uh, semester, but uh, I keep this great picture uh, in mind. He was apparently quite the hunk for a man of his years. Um, probably could have been doing Abercrombie and Fitch uh, commercials.